Looking good. Thank you, Shanice. In other news, the Citizens Committee for New York City is dedicated to helping New Yorkers who want to create a positive impact on their community by providing up to $3,000 in grants. We joined now by someone who's going to tell us more about the organization and the neighborhood grants application for 2018. We welcome now the Citizens Committee for New York City Community Outreach Coordinator, Andre Mozik, and thank you so much for being with us. No, thank you for having us. Good, thank good. So talk to us about this because it's an opportunity for uh, city residents to take part. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Citizens Committee's mission is to help New Yorkers and especially those in low-income communities uh, to lead projects that create uh, quality of life improvements and changes uh, and positively impact their communities. Mm. So for people who want to take part in this, what's the criteria? Um, so we do have pretty open criteria. It's a uh, part of a uh, core part of our mission to be as open as possible so that uh, New Yorkers from all walks of life are able to apply for these grants. Um, there's not really very many restrictions. Uh, if you think about it, our main restrictions are uh, that we are unable to fund fully staffed organizations and organizations with budgets of more than $40,000 a year. And that's pretty much it. Um, there are a couple of uh, great programs that we've worked with in the past, especially in schools uh, and pro projects that are brought on by organizations uh, who've been inspired by things that are going on largely around the city and want to see something similar in their community that they want to lead, and we're happy to work with them. So some of the projects you guys have supported, community gardening, visual and performing arts, nutrition awareness, uh, beautification, and tenant immigrant organiza uh, organizing. So you get a variety of different uh, people coming at you. Yeah, absolutely. Everything from arts projects. Uh, we've got a really great project uh, that we funded or helped to support in the Bronx here this past year uh, called Baby Dunk. Um, so anything from sports teams and leagues, uh, even to public schools uh, creating gardens and green spaces and, as you mentioned, uh, healthy eating initiatives for students. And so when you talk about uh, you don't have to be an established not-for-profit organization or have a 501c3 to be eligible, because a lot of people say, if i, I got to have that 501c3, but you're saying, no, you don't have to. Right. No, and, you know, this is uh, something that people bring to us. It's a concern that some people have, but that's, it, again, with part of the application process, we don't expect everybody who's applying for our grants to be a bona fide grant writing professional. Uh, we want to make sure our application is easy and open, and that includes uh, making it open to individuals who aren't part of a 501c3 nonprofit. Mm -hmm. uh, we love to give grants to groups of neighbors, uh, block associations, uh, tenant organizing associations, so that they can really tackle the, program, the issues that uh, they encounter every day. Right? They're the people who are on the ground and really experiencing uh, maybe some sort of problem or a lack of service in their community and we hope to uh, give them support so that they can build a project around that. Now last year you helped about what, 500, uh, about 500 people yeah. that, you, that you were able to fund. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's done through, throughout the year uh, through a variety of different grant programs that we offer. Coming up very soon, we have our neighborhood grants uh, for 2018. That's sort of our largest grant for the year. It's $3,000. Um, but we offer grants to support composting programs, uh, grants to support general block beautification programs, mm -hmm. um, and you know we've we've been doing it for quite a while. So we've we've reached almost every single part of the city uh, again with those 500 groups just uh, this past year. But we're always looking to expand and and sort of figure out where we haven't uh, made an impact yet. What can you tell me about the Young Citizens Committee? Cool. So Young Citizens Committee is a really great group of really active and interested uh, young professionals who want to support Citizens Committee's mission, uh, but might be working or uh, engaged in some other way. And so they help us with fundraising, uh, helping out on volunteer projects, and uh, just generally making sure that there's a component, a piece of Citizens Committee that is engaged in, in all the communities that we're, we're able to be engaged in. And so for young people, what does it mean to have that opportunity and that experience to get involved at an early age? Um, yeah, I think it's been very enriching uh, for our, uh, our young Citizens Committee members. Uh, a lot of them go to community board meetings and, and do outreach. So for them, it's especially a great chance to engage uh, with sort of the local structures of government um, mm -hmm. at the community board level, uh, and then to engage with communities and block associations, really meet their neighbors, uh, or explore new parts of the city where they hadn't, uh, didn't have any sort of connection, but 
um, want to create an impact in some sort of way. And so for people who don't know much about your organization, they can go to the website, I take it? Yes, absolutely. So our website is citizensnyc.org. Um, and you can find a listing of our past grantees if you're looking for maybe a project idea or to see where in the city we've been able to have any sort of impact. We have great maps on there. Uh, on our website, we also list some of the other resources that we offer, uh, which include a rent, uh, an equipment rental library for different projects that we support. Uh, you can rent AV equipment, uh, tents for a, a community fair, things like that. Uh, we also offer workshops and trainings throughout the year, mm -hmm. and the dates for those are listed on our website. Uh, and so give me the response that you get from people, because this is, this is something that's rather unique. I mean, most of the time, as we said, you usually hear 501c3, and you got to have this, you got to have that. But uh, you set the bar not, not so high. Well, it's attainable, uh, and it doesn't put people to a lot of red tape. What kind of response do you get? Because I know community members have to be excited just to know that this is out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think part of the, one of the really fun things about my job is that I get to come and say, you know, we've got the money. What do you want to do? Um, and New Yorkers are really responsive to that. You know, we were founded in 1975, uh, sort of in the midst of the uh, fiscal crisis that was mm -hmm. facing the city at that time. And you know, there was a lack of tax revenue coming into the city, a uh, lack of federal support, and New Yorkers really banded together to make sure that they could affect change on the community level. And I think that spirit is really carried through. And so when people feel like they have agency or they have resources that they can use to enact change, uh, New Yorkers are really ready to jump on it. And you know, you award grants up to $3,000. So some people say, oh, that's not a lot of money. But to the organizations that you really put a hand to, it really means a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you think about uh, buying T-shirts for a school group um, just to show support for the group, uh, the project that they're working on, or um, give them exposure to a new experience. And that impact, you know, it's three thousand dollars, but that impact goes a very long way. Uh, has potentially lifelong impacts, even when you're talking about. Uh, beautifying a neighborhood, right, and creating that community feel and connecting neighbors who may have just passed each other on the street before. Uh, now they have something that they can sort of gather around and, and a, a moment or a memory that they can look back on fondly. Mm. So for people who want to know more information, listen, you can call 212-822-9567, www.citizensnyc.org. So uh, the deadline. People are saying yes, we got to talk about the deadline. Absolutely. So we have our grant application deadline for the three thousand up to $3,000 uh, neighborhood grants on January 22nd. Uh, if you'd like to submit your application early by January 5th, our programs team is on hand and they're glad to help anybody work through a project and build it out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that deadline, January 22nd, we get all the applications and review them and uh, hopefully we get a lot of really great ones from the Bronx. So after you get the applications in, it's going to be Jan January 22nd. That's going to be the last day to get it in. How long before we get a response? Um, so we have a really intensive process. Uh, again, we get uh, around 600 or 700 applications in a year. Uh, and so we aim to let grantees know that they're receiving funding by late April. Okay. Uh, and then you can carry projects through uh, through the summer, through the winter, and up until the next grant application period. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Andre Mozik is our guest in the studio. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Community Outreach Coordinator for CCNY, the Citizens Community for New York. As we said, if you want to find out more information, that grant deadline is January the 22nd. So please go to the website, uh, give them a call, and I'm sure they'll be glad to put you in the right direction. And I know your phone will be ringing awesome. real soon. Yeah, yeah. All right, Glad Andre. Well, yes, Andre, our guest. Listen, I want to let you know we've come to the end of our show today. We want to thank our guests for joining us. Most of all, I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in. Now, if you missed any part of today's show, you can catch the Recablecast at 5 and 10 p.m. on Cablevision's Channel 67. If you have Verizon Files, that would be Channel 33. Or you can watch us anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. I'm Darren Hyman. It's definitely been a pleasure coming to your homes. Reminding you, stay safe. And most of all, keep this channel wide open. Take care. God bless. And if we don't see you before, definitely have a Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Happy New Year. All, we want to wish you all of that. Whatever you're celebrating, hey, happy it as we get ready to get towards 2018. Take care.
Thank you.